Welcome, Internet Travelers, to the KGB and Chester Show. KGB here. So I was doing some BGs, trying to you know finish up the last day before the new expansion comes out, and I was, I was, I don't know, like I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. I really am, but it's a lot of grinding. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of characters that, of course, I got to get to 110. I got to try the Demon Hunters. Definitely want to do like a Shaman. You know the. All the artifact weapons are going to be cool, which, by the way, Dis Priest, your artifact weapon is on fire. Like, I love that thing. Um, it's, oh, God, it's amazing. Uh, it just it, it looks spectacular. Um, the storyline is something that I'm really intrigued about because, finally, they've brought Lady Sylvanas, or, you know, the Banshee Queen of uh, the Undead, is now going to be our the horde's leader so uh, the war chief I feel like there's a lot of story that has not been told with her and I'm really excited to uh, you know see if they do her justice you know a long time ago I thought that <clears throat> I think it was I think it was the Lich King I thought they were actually gonna create like a third faction of just like undead uh, you know, and that way you'd have, like, Torrens that were undead and Orcs that were undead, you know, because the Banshee Queen uses uh, those people that, I don't know what they're called, the Valkyrie or whatever, uh, to, res you know, resurrect uh, the dead and create the undead army. And I thought, man, yeah, for sure she's going to create her own faction, or, you know, a super, you know, undead faction that would go, you know, hand in hand or be against the Horde and the Alliance. You know, I thought that would be some kind of cool, like, thing. Um but, I mean, if you watch all the intros and everything else after, <laughs> what is today? Today's the 29th, and they got another intro on the uh, uh, scan thing, and it's basically them talking about how the Alliance that couldn't trust couldn't trust her. They're talking about Lady Sylvanas because she's using the Valkyries again. Um, man, this was a crazy, crazy battleground. Um, right, there's just a lot of really good players out right now, and I was having a blast trying to figure out how to beat some of, you know, it's basically it was a consistent 3v1, so, you know, you get those practice in on how to basically uh, stop everybody from killing you so quickly. Um, which, again, you know, in this expansion, there you're going to be trained a lot. You know, I mean, it's, if you get two people that stick to you pretty well, and then, you know, they can, what is it, basically, you know, if they, uh, sync their uh, stuns and sync their stealth or their um, <clears throat> well man their, their silences on you you're gonna be shut down quite a lot so it's, it's, it's gonna be figuring out when to pop what cooldowns and maintaining so that you can stay alive the longest without casting um, what you'll see a lot in the videos especially like um, you know if I got a tome and up I'll just dot everything with my you know uh, power word solus and, and no I don't know what it's called, but it's the new form of Shadow Word Pain. Uh, you know, just dot everybody on there so I have, like, a rolling tick that's consistent. Uh, I think that the talents... I, I've been working with them on, like, betas and, like, closed seconds websites and stuff, and our talent tree for PvP is not... Ex it's not great. Like, it's nothing, like, game-changing. Uh, now, if you go to, like, uh, Shadow Priest, there's some game-changing stuff in there. Um, or any any DPS, you know, that's going to have some game changers. So, I mean, ours is basically bubbles, gaining mana. I think there's one. The very last one does, like, you either choose from using Fort, which it says it's only capable on two players. I guess that'd be good for, uh, you know, like a 2v2 comp, maybe. But, I mean, there's a DPS one in there. There's a couple of new heal ones. I don't see anything that's going to be any kind of substantial heal. So, no, you know, they, I think the one that they do have is, like, if it, it heals you and then uh, it gives atonement, but then it does damage. I don't know. It's weird. Um, so, I mean, it's, you know, they're not giving us too much. So that's good, but I feel like they're giving a lot of other classes a lot. So I feel like right now, this priests are in a really good spot. But come level cap, you know, 110 and doing PvP, they're probably not going to be doing as good. Everybody else is going to finally get a lot of these really crazy talents that, you know, in PvP that's going to make them just a pretty 
crazy mach killing machines, and that's, you know, that's great. I still want to learn how to beat them, you know, even if I <clears throat> have to play for a while just to figure it out, I'm going to. I've saved a couple of videos so that I can post a couple of videos tonight and tomorrow, and then uh, basically it's going to be uh, just grinding out the 110, getting into the PvP scene. You know, I'm probably going to do a couple of videos of, like, the getting the... Um, uh, artifact weapon on the disc priest and make sure that um, you know I still post videos they're just not going to be PvP videos of course unless I find some random you know PvP action out in the world or something which isn't going to be uh, it, it's possible but probably not too likely um, and then as soon as I hit level cap it's going to be you know doing PvP uh, videos again but uh, be more focused on trying to get those talents up and everything else and getting, you know, my gear up and everything and then waiting for season, you know, the next season of PvP Arena, which is going to be, I think it's going to be super fun, but i got to find the best comp that, you know, that's going to work for me and work, you know, that I could work with because healing is, it's fun, uh, you know, but the thing is, is like, if you go into a BG as like a Resto Shaman or a Druid, you're, you know, healing is way, way funner, you know, because you've got big, juicy heals that hit consistently, you know, like, druids could dot up everything and then just run away, you know, that's fun, you know, I could dot up everything and then it's healing through atonement, but that's only for 13 seconds, you know what I'm saying, that's all I, it's all you get, it's 13 seconds of that heal before you have to stop and refresh and, and then, you know, then go back to DPSing and doing the rotation again, which, don't get me wrong, I don't mind doing the rotation at all, it's just, I'd like to see some kind of, I don't know, something better than Shadow Mend. You know, um, some, I don't know, like that, what was that last talent in the last expansion? That was like a, it heal you, and then, but it put a debuff on you. It was a great big giant heal at the first. I think that would be something that would be okay to bring back. Um, just mo mostly because we need something that's going to, uh, you know, get us out of those crazy spots because, they're gonna train us like consistently. It's gonna happen. You're gonna you're going to be. It's always gonna be a two v one or three v one or four v one. It's always gonna be unless you've got great pills. Which if you're on the horde side, you don't have great pills. They they always leave you <laughs> leave you to your own demise. Uh, so you've got to either get out of it yourself or, or make it happen. Um, my biggest thing going into this expansion is I want you know is to be as open-minded as possible. A lot of people are saying that this was probably going to be the last expansion, and whether or not it is or not, is I have no idea. But I hope that, you know, they really come through. Like, the Garrison thing was, like, a really neat idea, but then it kind of, like, turned into it was the whole expansion. Like, it was just your Garrison. You know, you could go into Ogamar at any point in time, and it would be a ghost town, you know, or you go into Stormwind, or, you know, it's just ghost towns. There was no, nobody in there, because everybody got everything out of their garrison, did everything in their garrison, and then that was, that was it. You know, that was, that sucked. There was no, I mean, you still talk through trade chat, but you didn't see characters, and that was, that was a big thing. Like, I, you know, I think that's why they're also bringing, like, these artifact weapons, and then doing their skins for them, is because they want people to come back to that whole prestige thing of, that character or that person worked really hard to get that character to where it's at. Look at his weapon. You know, he's he's done a lot of the storyline. He's finished a lot of the dungeons and a lot of the raids. And, you know, I know or he's done a ton of PvP because it's the only skin you can get when you just kill a massacre, a whole freaking faction by themselves. You know, and I think that's great. And I'm excited for those things. And I just want to keep an open mind to, to making sure that I can do... As much as possible, because see, it's like as a PvP, -er, you know, it's especially like as I do. I do everything by myself. Like I don't have pocket healers. I don't have friends that come on there unless I invite a bunch of other disc priests or, you know. So it's just basically it's just me out there doing whatever I, you know, that I'm doing. So <clears throat> raiding and all that stuff is fun, but I have, you know, I've got four kids and a full time job where I work sixty hours a week. I can't, you know, I don't have time to set up to you know, spend eight to 12 hours, uh, you know, two days a week on the computer to to play one game. You know, I, uh, I can get, you know, four or five videos out, you know, a week. And if I do that, that means I spent probably three to four hours a day for the whole, you know, 
that whole week getting clips here or there or just basically pushing a whole BG through. And see, and that's another thing is, is when I push these, these BGs through, I'm not pushing through to show you the best of the best. You know, I, I don't just do highlights or just, you know, all these reels where I've, I'm, you know, I'm not cutting anybody down, but when people go in and they never die in a BG because they've got so many pocket heels or, you know, or whatever, you know, that's it, it, realistically for the, you know, the normal person who's playing this game, they don't have that, you know, they don't have, you know, four or five buddies that are healing them or that are great healers or great teams cons consistently. You know, you, it's just you out there trying to figure out what the best way to do things. And that's what I'm doing so that everybody can see it. And I enjoy it so much just going out there and be about, you know, I would love to have a bunch of buddies that just constantly got on with me and then we just PVP'd so that there was, you know, some kind of uh, singularity moment where we all knew what to do exactly at the same exact time. But now I think, you know, by myself, it's just a guessing game, you know, all right, so if I go over here, am I going to face three people by myself? Or, you know, is it just going to be 1v1 because nobody wants the 1v1 in this priest. Let's just, just face it. It's, nobody does. Um, I, I've met very few people that have been able to really, you know, 1v1 me. And, I mean, most of those are tanks, you know, or very, very skilled players that, you know, the, all of their life is PvP. You know, am I the best disc priest in the world? Not even close. <laughs> uh, but I do feel like, you know, I, I, I bring a certain level to the game that a lot of people can actually just understand that, you know, I, hey, that, I'm in that same exact boat, you know what I'm saying? So as I'm doing the level grinding and everything else, and before I get back into the PvP, if there's any kind of videos or anything that you guys want to see, you know, that uh, maybe because you, you're not leveling your Disc Priest right now, it's not your main, um, let me know. I'll definitely, I'll try to get those out and everything and uh, see what I can accomplish for you guys because... Uh, I'm definitely going to main this whole Disc Priest thing through this next expansion. So leveling as a Disc Priest should be kind of fun. I think it's going to be, you know, it's going to be tedious at times where, you know, I've got multiple mobs or whatever, and I've got to try to heal myself through the fact that they're beating the shit out of it. Because, I mean, if you've done the, any of the um, Allegiant attacks and stuff like that, you realize that these new mobs that they have out are doing some pretty significant damage and they're meant to kill you now and that's crazy cool you know i miss the days of you know when you went out and were grinding or trying to farm you know you had to make sure you watched your own ass you know and you had to make sure you had all the buffs that you could have make sure you had food make sure you had water you know <clears throat> shit hunters used to have to make sure they had fucking ammo pouches and shit that was crazy fun um yeah i think that they're bringing back a lot of the aspect of the game that I really enjoyed playing 10 years ago when I first started playing, you know, I, well, I'd, I'd say probably about nine years ago. I think the game was out for almost a full year before I started playing. Um, and then I'd like to see this raids that some people are thinking that they're going to be bringing in those high, you know, high, high end raids and everything. And that's going to be super cool. Like, God damn it. See how many people were on me and it took them to kill me. It was like literally like six to seven people in it. I mean, I was, I wasn't. I was dying. There was no. There was no exception to that. I was dying, but it took them a while to get me there. That's crazy fun. <laughs> um, but you know, I just wanted to. I'm not going to stop making videos because the you know the PvP scene is going to be down for a little bit. I'm not going to. I'm going to continue to make those and anywhere or any other kind of video that I think is going to be unique or cool. I'm going to definitely post on the channel to make sure that you guys still get those kinds of things and still see that. Because uh, I mean, not a lot of people are going to want to make disc priests. They're going to want to do a demon hunter. They're going to want to do those crazy ass damaging rogues or you know or go back to the warrior who's looking really good like warriors are looking really good at the start of the expansion so uh you know i think uh the one the one class that i feel like has been kind of eh, is the warlock i haven't seen like anything crazy cool out of warlock but i've only seen one demonology warlock and he gave me a run for my money uh so i mean that might be where it's at and just a lot of people haven't figured it out yet um so uh mages and warlocks i haven't just i haven't seen anything crazy crazy cool like I think Mage's got a giant icicle that they shoot at people now. What the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, you know, Rogue's got some really cool abilities. Like, the uh, the outlaw Rogue is running around with a pistol now. It gets a free pistol shot. That's that's just sick. <laughs> uh, 
ever. And like Warriors, their graphics have just been tuned so well. I mean, they just look like killing machines when they're out there. I mean, they do like three or four moves, and it's it, it just the whirlwinding everything and moving and swords going crazy and all these. I think the artifact weapons are going to make it like a super cool shit going to happen. So, you know, I definitely just wanted to put everything out there and. and you, I'm definitely going to continue to make videos. And if there's anything that you want to see in the disc priest line, feel free to comment, leave it down below, and I'll do it. Uh, you know, and I, I hope that I hope that I can grow this channel because I really would love to be able to do this and you know and and have a lot of fun and, and be able to to make those connections and then those you know those YouTube friends of you know of you guys. I you know Jake Quinn has been a guy who's been commenting on my videos and I appreciate everything he does. So. That's a holler out to you, man. I appreciate the fact that you, you know, consistently watch my videos and have, you know, and comment and give me all that stuff. So I do thank you guys. And uh, this is KGB. I'm out.